Josh, you want to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I've lost track of where we were, but uh, what, when and what got you into content creation? I've had a lot of very strange jobs over my life. I've been in a lot of strange situations and I've taken the initiative and just said, hey, can I have a job? And it turns out that a lot of people, when you say this, say yes. Or I just happened to be in a situation where a lot of people were very desperate and I happened to be there at the right time. <laughs> so I went to play a game of paintball with a few friends. And at the end of the day, I said, you guys got any jobs going? And they went, yeah, we have. So I was a paintball marshal for a year. And then I went to drive some go-karts for a bit. And at the end of the day, I said, do you have any jobs going? And they went, yeah. So I was a go-kart mechanic for a year. And then I was a martial arts instructor for about a year. And I worked in a warehouse. And then I was a drone flyer. You know, when you walk into a toy shop and there's like an annoying helicopter just flying above your head that someone's trying to sell. I was the guy in the corner of the shop flying the helicopter for a while. And then I thought, I don't want to get a real job. I'm going to be an actor because that sounds like a fun thing. You can just dress up and play with swords and get to all the, the stage props. That sounds fun. So I went to university to study to be an actor. And it turns out that the worst thing you can do if you want to get involved in the world of acting is go and study to be an actor because you spend three years looking at the theory behind it. So following the route of every trained actor, I went to go and become a teacher because that's what you have to do. You have to do your time teaching acting before you're allowed to do any acting acting. And I was teaching for a couple of years before I thought, I don't like this because I don't have the freedom to teach what I think is valuable and important. I have to follow the curriculum. So every day I would come home from teaching and I would play MMORPG games. I would play Neverwinter, I would play Terror, I would play Final Fantasy, I would play World of Warcraft. And I couldn't do all the things I wanted to do in the games. So I started watching guides on YouTube and I thought, there aren't that many guides on YouTube that are explaining things to the level of detail that I would like. I've got a basic computer. I can make guides. I've been a teacher for a long time. I know the basic process of explaining something to someone, laying the foundations and then slowly building on top of them. So I started to make guides. Here's how you do this. Here's how you do that. Then I started streaming for a bit because it was fun. I never intended it to be anything. It was always enjoyable because it tied into the acting, but the guide creation allowed me to use my skills as a teacher and Twitch allowed me to use my skills as an entertainer. The guides did relatively well. They were getting a couple of views, 10, 20,000. It was nice for me. It wasn't a job yet, but it was good. And then finally, I started to find some roles in theater. I was able to play Dorian Gray. I was able to play Robin Hood. I was able to play Cool Hand Luke, all these really cool things that I enjoyed. And then COVID hit and all the theaters and all of the TV shows and all of the films shut down. And suddenly all of the outside artistic creation-based jobs heavily limited so i thought okay i'm going to turn all of my skills now to just making guides because these guides were doing quite well and i was making guides and they were doing okay but if there's one thing people love more than seeing something good it's seeing something bad and while i was reviewing and researching all these guides i was getting sidebar banner ads on all the websites i was going to for those games like league of angels or ebony and it was like, help me, my lord. And it was some scantily clad angel. And I thought, how bad are these games? Because I see adverts for them everywhere, but no one plays them. Maybe I could do that. So I started to download all of them. And I, oh, I really don't want to think how many things I gave my old computer. But I just downloaded. If I could find a bad MMO, believe me, there are lots. I downloaded it and I played them for hours and hours and hours. And I made a review called Worst MMO Ever. League of Angels. And it was bad. And someone said, oh, that's quite good. You should do that for other games. So then I went to Steam and I searched by MMO and I searched by user rating and I scrolled all the way to the bottom and I started playing them and I started playing them for hours and hours and hours. And then I started reviewing them and editing them into videos. And now we're on episode 70 of the series worst MMO ever. <laughs> The Twitch stream has picked up. People love watching the terrible videos about the terrible MMOs. Some of them are on millions of views. And that's my life now. <laughs> so you're I'd a masochist. Love to, I'd love to play good MMOs. I'd love to wake up and go, ooh, it's time for some Final Fantasy fourteen, Or, ooh, it's, it's time for a day of the Elder Scrolls Online. And someone will go, no, you're playing Swords of Legend Online for 12 hours quick jump at that wall for three hours and see if you can clip out of bounds because that will make content <laughs> so i fell into youtube because i had a passion for making guides and then i decided to share 
my ability to teach and entertain with the worst games I could find. And that has taken off to such a degree, I can now do it full time. And I love it very, very much.